Hi everyone, my name is Anil Kumar Pumar. I have designed a voting tool called OVM, which means Online Voting Machine, a biometric voting system. It works on other data. In OVM, a voter can vote from any polling booth to his residential constitution. At a time, I mean in a single day, we can conduct parliament and assembly elections all over the nation. There is no chance of vote missing and there is no possibility for rigging and tampering. Common people can also vote without any confusion and there are many more advantages. Let's see what machines are used in OVM, how OVM will work, what are the securities in OVM, OVM voting procedure, what are the advantages in OVM, it's for public, politicians and the government. Machines used in OVM. Three types of machines are used in OVM. Identification card, ballot card, and server. Identification card. It will be handled by the polling officer, which has internet connection, and two high quality supporting devices. One is thumb scan and iris scan. These are used for voter identification, like polling agents. Identification card will display voter details and will get the voter constitution ballot paper from the server which will be displayed in the ballot app. Once vote is casted, the vote details will be sent to the server. Next, ballot app. It will be in polling booth and it has two high quality supporting devices. Thumb scanner to vote, headphones to listen to the candidate details. Ballot app displays the ballot paper and gives two confirmations to the voter before vote also gives the third confirmation after the vote and will send the vote to the server via identification tab. Next, server. It will be under election commission's control. Ideally, it will be huge, but we are showing this as an example. All Indians' other data will be in the server, like voter list. All constitution participant list will be in the server, like ballot paper. Each and every vote will be saved in the server like ballot box. Server will send the voter constitution ballot paper as per his address and also save the vote once voter vote is casted. How OVM will work? Identification tab and server are connected by the internet. Ballot tab and identification tab are connected by the web. The polling officer will verify the voter identity with thumb scan and iris scan. As soon as the voter puts his finger on the scanner, it matches to his other details, his name, address, assembly constitution, parliament constitution details will be displayed on the identification tab. It's a first verification. Then the voter has to scan his eyes with iris scanner. Once his eyes matches to his other details, the ballot button turns to green. It's a second verification. After these two verification, the polling officer will hit the ballot button, confirming that the voter is verified to vote. As soon as the polling officer hit the ballot button, the verified voter details will be sent to the server and the server will send the voter constitution ballot paper to the polling booth. The ballot paper will be displayed in the ballot tab. Then the voter has to step into the polling booth and has to wear headset. Then he has to click on the party symbol to whom he wants to vote. As soon as he click on the party symbol, the logo will be enlarged. It's the first confirmation to a voter and can hear candidate name, party name, party logo name in the headset. It's a second confirmation to a voter. After these two confirmations, the voter has to put his finger on the scanner to vote. His fingerprints matches to his other details and right now will be shown on the screen. It will be there for 4 seconds and after that a thanks page will be displayed. Then the voter can confirm that he voted to the person whom he wanted to and they can leave from the polling booth. The vote will directly send to the server via identification card. Security in OVM. OVM has three types of voter verification. Fingerprint scan, iris scan, polling officer manual check. Also, OVM has three types of vote confirmation. Party logo will be enlarged, can hear to the candidate details in the headset, and check mark on the screen after the vote, and webcasting. Highly secure connections will be used for internet and server. 
if any voter has doubt on his vote, they can check their vote at any time, either before election results or after election results. Voter has a chance to check their vote in OVM. The person who want to check their vote, they have to take permission from election commission or court. Only then they can check their vote in special vote at election commission office with their fingerprints and iris scan. No other person has chance to check your vote. We cannot share other security information beyond this point. OVM voting procedure. The voter has to put his finger on the scanner. Once finger is scanned, his details will be displayed in the ballot time. Then the voter has to scan his eyes with iris scanner. After that, the ballot button turns to green. Then the polling officer will hit on the ballot button. The next second, the voter constitutional ballot paper will be displayed in the ballot tab. Next step, the voter has to step into the polling booth and has to wear headset and click on the party symbol whom he wants to vote. Once click on the symbol, the party logo will be enlarged and can hear the candidate name, party name, party logo name in the headset. After that, the voter has to put his finger on the scanner to vote. The right mark will be shown on the screen and will be there for 4 seconds and after that a thanks page will be displayed. Advantages for public. No need to travel long distances to vote. No need to wait in line at polling booth. You can cast your vote from any polling booth. No need to search for vote and polling booth. One person cannot cast other person's vote because OVM will not accept. You can check your vote at any time. No need to apply for vote because it runs as per other data. Handicapped, blind and common people can also vote without any confusion with confirmation. Conflicts will be reduced and many more advantages. Advantages for politicians. No chance of vote missing. Polling agents are not required. Polling percentage will increase. Tampering chances will not be there. No need to report. Highly secure. The results will be re released within a minute. No chance for additional or extra votes. Vote bank is safe and secure. Risk will be reduced and many more advantages. Advantages for government. You can conduct assembly and parliament elections all over the nations at a time. It is more helpful for one India, one election. One person cannot cast other person vote. One person does not have chance to cast his vote more than once. Expenses will be reduced. 75% of polling stock expenses will be saved. 100% counting expenses will be saved as there is no counting in OVM. Strong room expenses 100% will be saved as it is not required. You can conduct polling in bus stations, railway stations, hospitals, etc. by tents. Within a minute, the results will be released with full details. Polling percentage will increase. No chance of vote missing. No need to prepare voter lists. Postal ballots are not required as the voter can cast votes from any polling booth. A person is eligible from his 18th birthday to vote. Unlimited candidates can participate from one constitution, can poll n number of votes from one polling booth, can conduct polling in networked areas and electricity not available places. If one set of OVM will send to the other countries, the voter can vote from their country to their home country and many more advantages. This is my project. Thank you.